And if you got to buy some cheap and reliable coins, man, check out my sponsor, AEAOH.com, for the best coins on the market, man. Use code BREE for 3% off and build that gas schedule. everybody we're back here with another video for you guys so the happy sunday for you guys might be a middle of the video middle of the day video because uh, i woke up a little late so we have marvin harrison tony gonzalez and also demarcus Ware. i will not be doing gameplays on saturdays anymore probably doing some on sundays because cars are overpriced i gotta go to work and so i don't want to end up you know rushing and stuff like that and end up overpaying for cards but ltd marvin harrison is definitely the best one of the best receivers of the game i think top three Still got Mike and Calvin, but he is the base fastest and along with the Legistine team. 96 speed, 94 Excel. Um, 96 catch, 96 catch, and Travis 94 spent. I was sure nice to meet him. 96 deep route running, six foot, 175 pounds. Good Lord have mercy. That dude is, he, he is, he is a stick figure out there. Uh, but 95 agility, 95 change direction. But the main thing for him is that he's going to get open. Colts Legends um, doesn't really get nothing much cheap. Uh, in these tiers, if you're just looking to see what can you get, uh, but he does get short for one. I'm sorry, mid in for zero, evasive for one, and deep out of lead for one. So he's around 550 ish. He was like 700, 800, like I was like last and yesterday before the work. So overall, nice solid receiver in the game. I wasn't going to purchase this card, but I decided to get him because I thought Donald was at least 92, 93 speed. He doesn't have three overall, but 93 speed, 88 strength, uh, 93 catching, 95 catching traffic, 94 spent, 91 shot, 92 medium, 78 run block, 6'5", 243, god damn, 89 agility with 86 shade direction, so great run to catch stats. We, we get the tight end almost every single week. Now, the reason why I didn't get him and I saw him as Zach Hurts, because obviously he fits the theme team. Um, tight end apprentice for zero, a I mean, yeah, for zero APE is, is pretty cool. I don't usually make adjustments, but you want to power these guys up to even get it. A short end elite for one is actually pretty cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? So it kind of technically didn't matter because the first two tiers also gets red zone threat for one. So you want to juice him up, you can. Truly, I don't really technically care about uh, tight end apprentice, but short end elite is definitely much needed. So um, the way my AP style, I'm I am I'm gonna need some edge protectors or some uh, secure protectors for zero AP eventually because the way this scheme is, you know, you gotta make some tough decisions right now. D Ware. Now a lot of you guys probably made the decision on who is better, Bruce Smith or him. I think on a theme team, yes, go with D Ware. But if you're talking just non theme team. It's pretty close, but I think Bruce is, has the better abilities because he gets edged at elite. The Marcus Ware doesn't. So 93 speed, 91 excel, 92 strength, 88 tackle, 91 player, 89 six blocks, 94 power move, 95 finesse move. I saw my camera wait for this card because uh, Cameron, the only flaw was the power move, which I, I mean, he's on the edge, shouldn't matter, but the, the more, the better. So. He is very expensive. So if you he's 93 is more than the 94 itself, 95 itself. So if you happen to have the 93, I would sell it because the man for this, Demarcus alone and, and Bruce Smith, they're gonna be more than the base card itself, so which is crazy. Because everyone wants supply and demand. So he doesn't get ripper for zero AP. I don't know how good disability is, but it's is it's free. But he does get edge set for one, which is actually pretty cool. No edge set elite to my knowledge. Uh, I don't know why he's getting stuff like that. It does get lurker. There were another for one edge set. So if you want to go do a combo for two, um, you can. But I, right now, I'm still going with an edge set because I think at this point, you got to let double nothing build up. So uh, yeah. Chief Steam Team. Uh, sit his ass back down. Now, with that, we having the crusher. His ass will be out for this first half. That's tied now. Nah, you knocking the guy. No, <laughs> six, five, seven, eight. That's this is the game in America, bro. I hate to say it like that, but that's what it is. You running the RPO? You the biggest bitch in America, bro. And you, oh my god, bro. Why are you running the RPO? You, you, you. Ah, you niggas think y'all good with that shit? All right. All right, bro, like, you, uh, good Lord have mercy, man. This is just, look at him, whoever that is, he's, fr that dude's a wet 170, bro. I want to see him told you can get open. Let's see, let's set some nuts. Let's set some nuts. You going to man up or what? You guys are going to be lying? I'm going to test some nuts, dog. I'm going to test some nuts. I don't give a damn. 
Tony, you gotta hold on to that. Don't have to go get Shannon Sharp, bro. You serious, bro? Like you really dropped it? Who, who was on you? Was that a linebacker or a safety? Let's go, Tony. The way that ball was thrown, that was a little, a little, a, a little, a little sketchy. That's me. He's a little tired. I see he dug a little head and shit like a little bitch. Ah, let's go, Marva. Marv. Ooh. <laughs> The upper room. I say uh you need some adequate backups, boys. Cause uh Let's go, Tony. <laughs> Tony G. Yeah, we, we gotta push that bitch in yeah, like Lisa had in the 60s. Right, if you run this RPO bullshit, this is this is just stupid. And and, and the oddest god. Let me see what you're doing, dog. Stupid ass. You trying to play like a little bitch. That's what your dumb ass is. God don't like ugly. Stupid ass. Yeah, thank you so much for being a fucking idiot. Thank you so much. I, I hate you dumb asses. Please stay on that D-line. He, that, that's crazy. He rushed that. Oh, wow. You rushed the D-line with edge. What did he got? Edge threat? Okay, I have edge protector. So which one? Which one go act stupid the most? Let's go, baby. Let's go, Marvin. First, first, first. The upper room. Make a decision, dog. I'm gonna keep light lighting that ass up. You better get on that user. We don't play that shit over here, baby. Huh, don't play with me. Play with your chick. That boy Tony G said, get Mink off him, man. He be a baby. You got a safety on freaking Tony G. Hey, don't do that to yourself, brother. Lace that ass up, Elway. Look how he threw that ball. I mean, man, like, you playing like a little bitch and shit. Like, I hate when people do that, bro. Like, you run an RPO bubble and shit. Please get him. Push him back. You can run this ball all you want. Now, we, like I said, if you can't, yeah, you better make sure. Like I said, they said man coverage is supposed to follow in, uh... Oh, God. He's trying to run the ball. I think he realized he... Thank you. Thank you for actually playing it. I want to go blitz you. Mm -mm. Nope. There we go. I would see with that when that what I'm gonna start doing. I ain't touching nothing else unless I know for sure he got to step on him. Look how he tried to do that bull, throw that bullshit, y'all. Look at that. Face him down. I'm curious to know who's this? Orlando Brown, Trent Williams. Here we go. Uh -huh. That's why I got big bitch on big bitch. Big bitch on big bitch. We're going to make a decision which big bitch going to come down with it. And I'm open on the... Come on, Marvin. Woo. Go out of bounds. He ain't finna hit me. Ball, let's just see. He ain't been blitzing me. We'll see, though. Ooh, that was close, Chief. That, that was close, Chief. Come on, come on, hey, you gonna stay in this cover three? Either you gonna get out of this. Like I said, that's what people need to realize. You can play a guy squad all you want. If you can figure out a nigga scheme, it's over with. Oh, if you can figure out a nigga scheme, he in cover three, he in cover four, he in cover two, he's a man. And you do some routes that can beat that, it don't matter what team you got or who you play. You scheme a nigga open, you can beat somebody. God damn it. I'm saying, bro, like people need to realize that. I'm telling people join the tournament. Yeah, you, people have led the teams and all, but if you can't figure out a scheme and how to beat somebody, get in that lab, bro. Let's go, Marvin. The upper room, baby. The upper room. Like I said, bro, that's all you gotta do. I ain't saying I'm the best or whatever. Yeah, I have a great squad and stuff, but I have to scheme these niggas open at times. Like I said, man, all you gotta do is figure out a scheme, bro. It ain't that hard. It's, it's not, you know. That ball, you did this nigga just stupid as fuck. You want to showboat and play like a little bitch? Yeah, come on, we come on, bro. Like you, you, you just as dumb as me. <laughs> come on, die. Go play with it. Bye. You ain't gonna quit. I'm put a hundred. I'm put a hundred on this nigga. He don't quit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I get bought. Oh, he's staying in the game. Nah. Right, so let's let's go ahead and keep going, baby. Let's see. Let's see what we gonna do. Let's go. 
like I said, this dude might make a, a really conscious decision. I want to get the Marcus where the ball looking over. So I obviously edge protectors. Good shit in a fucking body back. I ain't gonna hold you. We got this nigga locked the fuck up like Akon and Young Jesus. I got fucking pancaked. A legal man downfield. Thank you so much. Nigga really like pancaked me and he got a legal man downfield. Oh. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Good shit. Is that Bruce Smith? See, I'm telling you, Bruce Smith is fucking cold. That, see, but see, where you double take? I'm gonna keep being gonna put. Come on. Let's go. Like I said, bro, it ain't gonna be hard. It ain't hard whatsoever, bro. Make a decision, bro. Yeah, like I said, bro, it's too easy, bro. It is too easy. Come on, man. It's too easy. Get your ass up out of here. You sitting in the showboat sliding in the niggas' DMs and shit like you're doing something good, bro. What's up? Make some adjustments, bro. Make some adjustments. That's the gameplay on Marvin Harrison and Tony Gonzalez. Like I said, it had to be working a couple hours. I'm going to edit the video out for you guys quick, fast, and in a hurry. Give you guys my thoughts and opinion on each three of these cards. When it comes to Marvin Harrison, I think he's going to be the best small receiver in the game. Keep in mind, he is a 6'4", he is a 6'5", 6'3", 6'2". He's six foot, but he's fast. That's kind of the main reason why you want this card. He's fast. And if I need to ask a fifth session, I have Randy Moss. I got um, I got Mike Williams. I got Calvin. So he is going to be one of those guys you put in the slot, do your drag, do your slants, see what damage he can do in the slot. He's around 550K. I do have a feeling we'll get another receiver product during Zero Chill. So he's just going to be a rental for me, and I can just quick sell him. Tony Gonzalez, one of the best tight ends of the game, mainly because of the tight end apprentice that you had additional. That's probably why you want, might want to take him over Zach Ertz or any of these other guys. I don't think Donald Parham gets short in elite for one it might be two so that might turn you off but donald parham is free so we will be having them this week and we'll be having a gameplay for you guys so if you guys are looking to invest in tony g I, you he's more cheaper than the wear to power up d where didn't get the chance to see much but stat wise he is going to be one of the best pass rushers. i believe him and bruce smith i think bruce smith is better but abilities wise uh, I think, I mean, where probably is better. I mean, they're, they're about the same. It's just the Excel, the main difference. But ability-wise, go to Bree Smith. But overall, I think he should be okay with the additional to, to Ripper, which I don't. I think this ability is ass. Anyway, they're adding ass abilities to make people use it more because um, it's free, which is okay. But he, he's going to be an issue and a problem because every year he's a really good pass rusher. So hope you guys are the video, man. I love you guys, man. I'm out. Peace.